All right, folks, welcome back to Karak Alberon's Gaming. We're back in Valheim, and yes, we have another Valheim Seed video where we find a maypole. So if you're familiar with my channel, you know that a lot of the Valheim content that I do is I search out seeds that have maypoles, and I do a video slash assessment on the seed, um, give you my recommendation. Uh, going over its highlights and hopefully it's something that you can use from one of your playthroughs whether it be a group playthrough solo uh, Co-op whatever you choose to do So before I get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I really appreciate it Please smash that like button. Please subscribe. Please share the video all that stuff really helps the channel out And I really appreciate the support. Thank you so before I get too far, let me say that maypoles are not required to play Valheim. You do not need to have a maypole. Okay? A maypole confers upon you a plus one comfort bonus. Well, the comfort goes to your rested bonus, which does help you when you fight bosses. So there's no getting around that. The higher the comfort, the better the rested bonus the better bonus you're going to have when you fight bosses. But plus one is not a make or break, so you do not need maypoles. Additionally, if you choose to cheat in Valheim, which I'm doing currently, you can see me floating in the air, you can build a maypole whenever you want. Um, however, if you're a purist or if you just like to um, not cheat and you just want some help finding seeds with maypoles, this video will help along with uh, many many others that I have on my channel check them out so where are we we're here now this particular seed has three maypoles on it two of them are mediocre locations they're all right I mean you can build there and it'd be cool the one that we're at now is okay it's really it, it's closer to the ocean it's not bad it's got one highlight actually two highlights to it that make it a little unique and one of the reasons I decided to do a video on this one, well, second, well, second, uh, the main reason is is because there's three maypoles. <laughs> um, and we'll look at the seed generator, the map generator in a minute, and you'll see that this is all on one island. So I think this seed would be a really good place for a co-op play. Anyways, there's your maypole. Now, it's in this little valley. Um, it's rolling down to the ocean. Now that's wide open ocean there. Now, one of the unique things about this particular maypole is, is there's 12, yeah, there's 12 raspberry bushes right here. Okay, there's five plus four is nine, plus three is 12. That's a lot. Um, you don't normally see that many. Usually you will see a enclosure of maybe four or five. But uh, that's a lot of raspberries. Not only that, but you've got plenty of boars running around. Okay, you've got one, two, three, four, five boars here. Uh, you can enclose this right here, put these boars in there. You've got your boar farm. So right off the bat, you're good to go with your food production for early game anyways. And then the boars are going to produce for you for a long time. And there's your maypole, which is good. But over there in the distance, that's a crypt. And it's a unique crypt because it's just kind of sitting out here all on its own. Now, the dark forest does go back a ways. Um, it, it's not very dense. You can see he's getting busy right there with some gray dwarfs. Um, it's good enough. You're right by the dark forest. It, again, it's not a huge dark forest. There are some resources here. You can see... Um, up here where it cuts off and you've actually got more raspberry bushes up here um, there's another little house over here so it's not a huge dark forest there are some resources there but this crypt is nice because the crypt will eventually respawn and you can farm it for um, your jewels whatever so that's a nice have and there's even more raspberries here wow it's like a raspberry maypole seed um, Maybe that's what I'll call it in the title. <laughs> so, these other locations, again, they're okay. They're not um, fantastic. Uh, we're not going to go visit them. But all up and down the coast here, 
are little pockets of black forest, which is important. But let's take a look at the seed, uh, the world map seed generator. Okay, so here you go. This is where we're at. We're right over here. Okay. Um, here are the other two maypoles. Now, this one's not bad because it's right by a mountain biome. I don't know what the resources are in there, but if there's a couple of silver veins, that might be a nice little mining town right here. And here is the dark forest patch north of this maypole. Um, that's not huge. It's not small either. You should be able to extract from that plenty of resources. And this one down here is okay. This is the worst one out of them all. But there's a little black forest down here as well, or dark forest, whatever you call it, which is all right. So let's take a look at the bosses. Not fantastic. Um, motor is really going to be your issue here. He's way over here. Um, you are going to have to sail. Uh, it is what it is. You're going to have to sail to get to bosses, which isn't the end of the world. The good news is, is you've got Yagloth and Bone Mass right here. Uh, closer together and then it's a hop over to motor which is nice um, the boss distribution isn't fantastic on the seed you're definitely gonna have to get in the boat uh, it's it is what it is trader again you're gonna have to get in a boat it would be great if the trader was right here right or right up here but he's on this little island up here that's not horrible um, you know it's definitely manageable Let's take a look at Troll Caves real quickly. And as per normal, you usually have a Troll Cave near the trader, so it's an easy place to set up a port. So that's good. Tombs and Crypts. Not bad. Now here's that one that's off in the distance from a Maypole. Um, there's plenty of crypts in this dark forest. You can farm this dark forest out pretty good, and you should have plenty of resources cores etc to do what you need to do uh, for that period of the game in terms of iron crypts sunken crypts uh, not a lot of great options but it's not horrific it really depends on how long you choose to spend in the Iron Age I myself go to the mountains as quickly as possible but you do need iron to build your boat etc couple up here couple here Nice little chunk down here. Nice little chunk on this bone mass. Nice little chunk here. So, I, I mean, you have access to them if you want to, if you really want to farm up iron a lot. Uh, again, I don't like the swamps myself. It's just, I don't like that biome. It's my least favorite, so I try to stay away from it. But you do need iron. So you've got plenty of locations here. And you've got a Yagloth and a bone mass down here. So if you come south... There's your iron resources, should you want it. Um, let's take a look at Leviathans real quick. So, not horrible. You've, you've gonna have, you're definitely going to have enough to build an Abyssal Harpoon. If you're doing a co-op playthrough on the seed, maybe it'd be a pain. Um, but I'm looking right here in this general area between the, the trader, the elder, and your, your uh, main island here. You should have plenty. I mean, what is there? Yeah, there's like 12, okay? You should be able to get enough chitlin for plenty of harpoons, plenty of razor knives, if that's what you want to do. Let's take a look at the frost caves. Be great if there was one here. There isn't. There's one right here, which is okay. Um, four right here, which is all right. Bunch near the motor, four near the motor, which is really good. Let's take a look at dragon eggs. So you've you've got four over here by the motor. Now there's a whole bunch down here, but I always look to see how many are near the motor boss spawn because that's really where you want them. Because you're gonna have to drag them up there. So this is a decent motor location in terms of resources. Um, the problem is you gotta get over there, <laughs> right? But because you've got Yagloth and Bone Mass here, it's, again, it's not great, it's not horrible. What else can I show you here? Um, now let's look at bees, because that's an early food that we always want to make sure that we have access to. Plenty of bees on the starter island. You, you're going to be fine there. You just have to farm them up. I mean, I, you know, there's a whole bunch. So no problem there. You're going to have plenty of honey. That's good news. 
Useful runes. There's some piggies here on this main island. The problem is, is none of the boar spawns are near the maypoles. But there's plenty of boar spawns on this little island. I mean, this is pretty rich. So I think if you, again, if you're doing a co-op playthrough and you and a couple of other players are uh, go out on a hunting trip, you should be able to farm up plenty of boars. In addition to that, all three of the maypoles start in villages, like all maypoles do. And usually those vi villages have one to, to five boars walking around. You can probably get to them pretty quickly, fence them in, and start domesticating them, and start your own boar farm anyway. So I think you're going to be all set for your early food sources on this seed, no problem. And it's a fairly small island, so that's good. You should be able to map it out and farm it up pretty quickly. Totems. Always look for them near the Yagloth. Uh, there's a few. There's a few here on this little island, which is nice. Okay? That's where I would go. Because I don't want to... Again, I, I don't... I, <laughs> the, the planes of the bane of my existence. Death Skeetos are. I mean, I, I just... For some reason, I just always struggle with Death Skeetos, But that's my, my plight as a Valheim player. So what I want to do is I want to limit the amount of access they have to me. So if I see something very small like this, that's where I'm going to get my totems. Okay. Um, and just do my best to kill the, the Deskitos I come across on this little island. Because if you go to this huge plains, um, they can pop up on you. And, you know, then what the hell do you do? You're, you're, you're running and you're gunning. Particularly if you're raiding a camp. So, overall, I think the seed is okay. I think it's pretty solid for a co-op gameplay, though. Um, I think it's, you know, I, I wouldn't rank it amongst some of the best seeds that I've ever found, but three maypoles on a small little island, um, I think it merited a video. Maybe I'm stretching a little bit here, but I, I thought it was okay, particularly the aesthetic of this where it's a rolling hill. You've got multiple different raspberry bushes. I mean, what do we see? Five over there, five over there, and then there's 12 here. Plenty of raspberries. Little boars running around. You've got a maypole, and you've got a farmable um, dungeon right here, crypt. Uh, I think this is a fairly solid maypole location right here for those reasons. And you've got access to the ocean. I mean, that's wide open ocean right there. Um, it's not perfect. It you know, be great if the maypole was right here, right? And you've got these two big rocks right here. I guess you could build your dock right between them. But, you know, you do have access to the ocean. So, overall, I think I'd give this seed probably an 8 total. Um, the, the, the bosses are not fantastic. But they're doable, right? Like, it's not like they're way spread out. I've seen some seeds. Some of the hard mode seeds that I've seen people post on Reddit, they're just... They're crazy, right? you got to sail all over creation to get to these bosses. I mean, I, I don't mind a little sailing. It is Valheim, uh, so that's cool. But, uh, you know, uh, there, gets, there comes a point where it's like, all right, you know, this is a little much. Um, I, I like portals now, but, again, you can't transport your ore unless you get a mod uh, through a portal. So you've got to go by boat. Anyways, I think this is a good seed for co-op play. I think this is a solid maypole location in and of itself if you were doing a solo play. You've got plenty of dark forest resources close by. You're on the ocean. You've got plenty of early food to sustain you. You should be able to make it through the Bronze Age, no problem here. Um, now, you may have some problems with visitors from the dark forest uh, regularly, but that's, you know... You're going to have problems at some point in Valheim, so you're just going to have to deal with it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Let me know you were here. Uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you'd like to see. If you'd like to uh, see the presentation differently, if you enjoy these videos, if they're helpful to you. I'd like to know, as a creator, your feedback really helps me um, shape the type of content that I create. So far, the Valheim Seed videos have been a pretty big hit. People like them, so I'm gonna, you know, I'm continuing to make them, as I'm sure you've seen on the channel. If you want to see other Valheim content, like me playing the game or me 
uh, tackling a cave or a crypt, let me know. Thanks so much for coming by. I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you again soon.